All right, let's try this one. A um, one kilogram claw hammer is used to pull out a nail. The shaft is vertical and the screw faces outwards at about 30 degrees, um, five centimeters from where the hammer pivots. Okay, uh, so let's see if I drew a hammer like that and maybe gave it a head. Claw hammer would look a little bit like this. That would be my pivot, right? And um, the screw faces outwards. Uh, so we have a screw here getting pulled out, right? And uh, this distance is five centimeters. And this is the angle of 30 degrees, all right? And what do we do with that? Um, you're going to pull horizontally this way with a force of 150 newtons, all right? And um, the question is, is how much force do I get from the nail? How much force do you get from the nail when you pull that at, with 150 newtons worth of force? Um, so this is how strong you are. This is how much you can apply to the nail. Hopefully it will be more. Get some good mechanical action going on. Okay, so um, that's not quite a quite a rep representation. It's pretty good, but it's not um, really amazing. Well, this isn't really amazing either. But what it has the advantage of doing is um, abstracting things, right? And so we've got all this information here. All we have to do is draw the forces on the hammer. All right. So this is your force, and this is what we're looking for, the resultant. Okay? Um, so this is sort of what, we, what we'd like to look at as the um, free body diagram, right? Um, I'm going to do it that way. I'll put the pivot here so it's parallel. All right, so we also have to identify the parts of the problem, right? Uh, what are we given? Um, we're given a hammer with, with a mass of, um, let's say, one kilogram. M equals one kilogram. Um, let's see. We've got a nail. Um, its distance from the pivot is D, uh, which is five centimeters, right? Five centimeters and has an angle that angles to the vertical. Um, theta is equal to 30 degrees. Let's see what else. Then we have an applied force. We have um, you pulling on the hammer. And um, let's see, that would have a height H of what? 30 centimeters? and a magnitude F, and that, equal, that is equal to uh, 150 newtons, okay? And we'll be, what would we like to find? We'd like to find the force on the nail. And we'll call that R, okay? So you need all of these parts when, when you're doing one of these problems. You need to name something, give me a symbol, give me the value. You wanna find something, what you wanna find has a variable name, right? Um, you know, this is physics, that's what we look for. Uh, how will I do this? I'll look at static equilibrium. And we'll use the equation, the sum of the torques is equal to zero. 
All right. So I guess that's really rotational e equilibrium. Um, what's the first thing we have to do if we're going to get an answer here? Um, the first thing is write vectors. All right. So remember, um, tau is equal to r cross f. So we have to figure out what r is in each case, and we have to figure out what f is, all right? And we need them as vectors, vectors, all right? So, so let's see, for uh, mu, all right? Uh, the force you have is this 150 newtons, and it, it is, well, let me, it's 150 newtons, and it is in the um, x direction, so i hat. So that's 150 newtons in the i hat direction. I'll probably use this first. And the position, so but label, the, label these one. Um, the position is 30 centimeters above, right? So that is um, h. J, HJ hat, which is 30 centimeters times J hat. And then we have the nail. Um, F2, let's see, F2 is R, let's see, this is, this is minus R cosine Minus R, let's see, have this looking triangle, theta, this is R, the X component is opposite, opposite is sine, so minus R sine 30 degrees in the I hat direction, minus R cosine 30 degrees in the J hat direction. Um, so that's minus r over 2 i hat minus square root of 3 r over 2 j hat. Okay, and it has a position as well. Uh, that would be this minus d i hat, which is equal to minus 5 centimeters times i hat. Okay, so first thing we have to do is just write the vectors. Um, not not for this class in particular, but in um, teaching upper division courses, even doing this, um, the students are having a little bit of trouble. So you want to practice this. This is a basic skill, all right? Writing vectors for things. It's a basic skill. Okay, so let's see. Two. Now that we've written the vectors, uh, we want to... Um, find the torques. So we'll find the individual torques. All right. Okay, so tau 1, oh, that's going to be R1 cross F1, right? So that's HJ hat cross FI hat which is S H F J hat cross I hat. This is minus K, minus K hat. That's right there. So we have H F minus K hat, right? And H times F, that's 0 0.3 times 150, right? So that's 45. I think. Yeah, so that'll be 45 newtons. So that's minus 45 newtons in the k-hat direction. All right, so we also need tau 2, which is R2 cross F2. All right, so R2 we just said is minus D i-hat and um, cross F2, 
where I was happy with minus r over 2 i hat minus square root of 3r over 2 j hat. i cross i is 0, so we end up with minus times minus uh, the square root of 3 over 2 times uh, dr. Remember, r is a force, and what would the force that we're actually looking for? Um, i hat cross j hat. i hat cross j hat is just k. So this is square root of 3 over 2 dr k hat. All right. So then we'll solve, or we'll set up the equations. Right. Um, which is tau 1 plus tau 2 is equal to 0. Um, I'll do this quick and dirty way. These are both in the same direction, same direction so I only need to worry about that one, um, that one equation. The equations in the i and j directions and the x and y directions, they don't matter. Um, so these also have opposite signs. So basically, the magnitude of this has to equal the magnitude of that. So we have hf equals the square root of 3 over 2 dr. All right, not, uh, not the most uh, difficult thing we're going to have to worry about. Um, and need just a little more room. All right. Now we can solve. All right. All right, so I have r is what I want to find. It's equal to 2 over the square root of 3 times h over d. Um, times f, which is 2 over the square root of 3. Um, 30 centimeters over 5 centimeters with 150 newtons here. Okay, centimeters cancel, so I don't have to worry about converting those. Converting those. Um, and that makes this 6 times 2, which is 12, divided by the square root of 3 times 150 which is 1,040 newtons or thereabouts. Okay, good. Um, and we always like to end all this with a check, right? Uh, what should we check? Well, I mean, obviously always the first thing we can check is the units. So units of force are newtons and units of r are newtons so that's a good that's a good sign right uh, what would another good sign be well um, we expect from uh, from the way this thing looks right We've when I set this up in this simpler looking thing, we've got a longer um, distance here and a shorter one here. For equilibrium, this force should be larger than that force. So R should be greater than F. And 1040 is 1040 is greater than 150, so that's okay. All right, that's a reasonable check. So passes two reason two checks for reasonableness. So this is probably the correct um, correct answer. Maybe not. Could be off, but probably is. Um, I. I think that's probably enough to get you started on some of these problems, so I will see you in class.